This is the first video of the school year and is simply titled, What is Civics? Civics is the study of rights and duties of a citizen. This is going to be the overarching theme we're going to be looking at throughout the school year, so it's important that we understand each component of what civics is. The last word of the civics definition is citizen. A citizen is a community member who owes loyalty and allegiance to a government and is entitled to protection from that government. Most people strive to become a citizen because when you gain citizenship, you are vested or given rights and privileges, but in return you have to perform duties. So basically, citizenship is a relationship that you're going to have with your government. The reason why people want to have this relationship is so they can gain rights. Rights let you move more freely within your society. Rights are legal, social, and ethical principles of freedom. Rights are important rules. It lets people know what they can do according to the legal system which is established by their government. So it pretty much lets you know what you can or cannot do within your society. That way you can enjoy life to its fullest. That's what citizenship is all about, gaining these rights and these privileges so you can enjoy life to the fullest of its ability. In our society, the government is going to let us know what our rights are. The rights were written into our old documents, such as the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence. So the government is the gatekeeper or the, the not the owner, but they oversee what our rights are, pretty much. So if we're looking at the government as being the people who let us know what our rights are, we must know what the government is. The government is an organization that has the power to make and enforce laws and decisions for its members. So pretty much they set forth what our laws are, and they kind of make the decisions of what we can and cannot do within the society. Now government is going to be a two-way street. You owe the government loyalty, and in return the government is going to give you protection. Please understand this relationship of you as a citizen giving loyalty, and in return the government is giving protection. And this two-way street and this idea of the relationship between the government and the citizens is all drawn up from the idea of a social contract theory. And the social contract theory states that as a citizen, you agree to give up certain freedoms and you adhere to service or give specific duties or perform specific duties. And you're going to have certain responsibilities. And in return, the government is going to offer you and give them your protection. Give you their protection, rather. So you give up freedoms, and in return, you're going to get protection. This is the relationship that's going to exist between a citizen and this government in the United States. So this first video is kind of quick, but it lets you know what aspect of life we're going to be looking at and what aspect of society we're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at the relationship between an individual person and their government and what each does for the other. So, this is the end of the first video. Be familiar with the ideas of the social contract theory, the two-way street of government and citizenship, what citizenship is, and what civics is. See you tomorrow in class.